This is the Akron News Now update. Once again, I'm in for the vacationing Lindsay McCoy. I'm Ryan Haydett, and here's what's taking place today. The body of a 24-year-old Akron man was found inside his residence on Thursday afternoon. Authorities say Brian Humphreys was found shot to death in the kitchen in his apartment in the 800 block of Dayton Street. Now, both the Summit County Medical Examiner's Office and the Akron Police Department are investigating his death as a homicide. Then over in Stark County, road maintenance workers discovered the body of a black male believed to be in his mid-30s. That body was in Sherrick Run Creek near Canton on Thursday. According to the repository, the man had sustained multiple gunshot wounds and his death is also being considered a homicide. His identity not known at this time, but police plan on checking the list of missing persons to see if that may help in this situation. The former Petland employee who was charged with drowning rabbits and holding them up for a Facebook photograph has been sentenced. The Beacon Journal says that Liz Carlisle pled guilty to a couple of counts of animal cruelty before she was given a fine of $250 in order to perform 120 hours of community service. Akron's firefighter union chief claims 38 firefighter layoffs won't save the city much money this year. At continued hearings that were held on Thursday, union head Phil Gower says he calculated that the city would receive very little savings in the 2009 budget from those layoffs. Gower said after the city paid overtime owed to those firefighters, saved vacation time, and eventual unemployment compensation. He believes city savings from the layoffs amounts to just under $21,000. But City Budget Director Diane Miller Dawson spent much of the hearing disputing those figures from Gower. In testimony last week, you might remember that Akron Mayor Don Flasquelic defended the city's decision regarding the layoffs. You can read much more on this story and hear some audio from those hearings over at AkronNewsNow.com. And over on the health front, officials say it seems the level of flu activity in the state of Ohio is actually declining. Most data sources indicated a peak was around October 18. Certainly want to caution that this does not mean it will continue to decline as frequently we see ebbs and flows during a pandemic outbreak. But Dr. Alvin Jackson, who is the director of the Ohio Department of Health, says we still will likely experience widespread flu activity over the next month. And movie fans have been filling sold-out screenings of the latest in the Twilight Saga, New Moon. Officials estimate a huge box office take from the not-so-scary vampire feature. If you happen to have a news tip, just send us an email at news at rcrg.net. You can see that at the bottom of your monitor there. And you can also follow us on Facebook or Twitter if you're into the social networking sites. And also don't forget to check out our website regularly, akronnewsnow.com. It's updated all the time with the latest in breaking news. Yet again, in for the vacationing Lindsay McCoy. I'm Ryan Haydett.